The Adventures of Alice. Written by me, Calissa Huddleston. Illustrated by Grace Kim. Oh, the cover is illustrated by Grace Kim. This lovely artwork. And then inside illustrations are actually done by me. So here we go. Hope you enjoy it. Adventures of Alice. Dedicated to my future students and my best friends from around the world. This is for you. There once was a little girl named Alice whose best friend, Greta Grace, lived in a palace. Greta was a princess who needed an explorer, you see. So she kindly said to Alice, Will you help me, please? Alice loved adventures. She loved to learn. So she said, Of course. And with lots of knowledge, I'll return. On her first stop to Mexico, she made a friend, Diana, where she had her first adventure, learning history at Chichen Itza. They had fun in Cancun at the beach, snacking on elote. Alice loved the warm corn tortillas, the sopa de lima, and the mole. Her first goodbye was sad, but with Diana, she had lots of fun. Alice started back on her adventure, which had only just begun. So Alice set sail to England, crossing Atlantic time zones. She was so excited to experience high tea, jam, and scones. When Alice arrived, a girl named Katie gave her a place to stay. They rode a double-decker bus, ate Yorkshire pudding, and drank tea all day. Soon. The time came when it was time to say goodbye, so Alice took one last look at the city from the top of the London Eye. Then Alice took the train to Italy, excited for her next exploration. Her distant second cousin was picking her up from the train station. Ciao, nice to finally meet you, said Luca. Welcome to my home. They went all around the country, Venetian gondolas, art museums, and the Colosseum at Rome. With one last sip of minestrone and one last bite of fresh penne, Alice said her goodbyes, and Luca wished her well on her way. Alice's next stop was Turkey, where the east meets the west. She soon made a friend named Tolga, who treated her like a special guest. They sailed from Europe to Asia, across the Bosphorus. The yummy donor sandwich and chai were a plus. Alice didn't want to leave such a warm and welcoming place, but she had to carry on for Princess Greta Grace. Next stop was Israel, a country where much history is found. Shalom, said Hannah as she walked by. Can I show you around? They walked everywhere in the old city of Jerusalem. They floated in the Dead Sea, ate falafel, and even visited Bethlehem. Alice took one last look at the city where Jews and Arabs lived alike, and thanked Hannah for her help before she continued on her hike. Next, Alice traveled south to Nigeria to learn from even more people. She met a boy named Chima who showed her around on his bicycle. They passed by some boys playing soccer and even saw a giraffe. Everything was beautiful, and the people made her smile and laugh. With one last bowl of jollof rice, and a goodbye to Chima and his family. She left sad to leave her new friends, but still excited for the next country. Traveling to Pakistan, Alice met a girl named Nashia on the train. Nashia invited Alice to her house and kept her full on biryani and naan. The next day, they explored the landscape, dotted with minarets. The mosques were grand and very large. The mountains were larger yet. Alice was thankful for these memories and making friends she'd always remember. She said goodbye to Nashia, promising to come back and visit next December. Alice took the long flight to South Korea to explore a place she didn't know. When she met a girl named Harim saying, Annyeong Heseyo, they visited Buddhist temples, Jeju Island, Sokcho, and Seoul. Though Alice's favorite was the Korean barbecue, kimbap roll. With one last hug from Harim and one last tasty rice cake, Alice continued on her adventure, though she missed all her friends with heartache. Alice sailed across the Pacific to the nation of Brazil and met Paulo, who explored the Amazon with her. What a thrill. They played some volleyball on Copacabana Beach, 
and Alice even learned the samba from Paulo, which he did teach. After the excitement of Carnival had come to an end, it came time to say goodbye to her newfound friend. The longer that she traveled, the more she never wanted to stop. Adventurous Alice wanted to explore every culture, country, city, and shop. Alice made so many friends along her long and wonderful journey. She missed them all so very much, and they would never leave her memory. Now, to Princess Greta Grace, Alice had made a promise that she would return with knowledge to be helpful and to be honest. So Alice did return to her home across the ocean, but now she saw the world differently than her earlier notion. Though people all seem different, and they are different, that is true. On the inside, we're more the same than we are different from my view. People are just people with different looks, ideas, and smarts, and we learn from each other better working together than apart. For every new friend, same and different, there is a balance. And that concludes the story, The Adventures of Alice. The end. Thank you so much for listening to my reading of my book, The Adventures of Alice. Uh, I wrote this book for a class at Liberty University. We had to write a children's book. And the reason that I wrote on this topic was because uh, cultural, intercultural understanding and cultural knowledge is something that I'm very passionate about and something that is very important to my life on a very personal level, as well as very relevant to a lot of my experiences and the friends that I have. And I really value the learning and the experience that uh, cross-cultural understanding brings to everyday life and just being a global citizen and what that means and caring for people no matter how they are different or even how they are the same to you and so that is one of the many reasons that I wrote this book and I hope that no matter how old you are you got something from this book and that you were able to learn something new thank you so much for listening